Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, so this one, this episode we're going to go through roof rack lights. Uh, the ones I've chosen are a dual colour in, in, in a single light. So you've got your normal white light and then you've got like an amber light in the bottom for keeping bugs and stuff away. Um, and it's just a nice light when you're camping. Um, so I'll go and show you which ones I've chosen and I'll show you how I've wired it in the car, what switches I used, um, how I ran it through the roof rack. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. So these are the lights here guys, uh, as you can see it's like really small unit um, but it's got the dual lights in there. Uh, we've got the white ones at the top here and then we've got the amber ones at the bottom. Um, I wanted it all in the one unit, I didn't want to have two separate lights for uh, white and amber. Um, so these work really well, nice compact, um, they're just a six inch light I believe. Um, I'll go in the, put in the description the ones that I got. These are just off eBay. I think they're like 10 bucks each, something silly like that. Um, so I'll go and show you the quality. They're pretty good for, for what you pay really. Um, there was a few things that I weren't really sure about, um, but you know, I've been, I've taken these on corrugations and stuff and they've, they haven't come loose. Um, so they're, they're so far so good. Because I've got the, uh, dual lights um, and I, I wanted to switch from left side of the car right side of the car like what most people do um, and I didn't want to have four switches so I didn't want to have a separate switch for the the white light and then the amber lights I wanted to have all in the same switch so I got these switches here it's got side light and side light so you can actually switch one on separately or you can put them both on but yeah, you can just have one on, one off. Um, works really, really well. Yeah, so having the switches like that just means yeah, I'm not taking up too much space in the cab with um, with the switches. Obviously, you know, if you've got a Y62, there's not a heap of space to go, or a heap of spare switch um, slots to go and put in. Those switches are from Kogear. Uh, yeah, that's, so they're, they're the ones that do the, the dual switch. Uh, you, can, you can label them, get different labels, top and bottom. Uh, I just wanted it side light, side light, so then I knew, because um, one's obviously just left and one's right, so um, that works. That works good for me. So the wiring I used uh, to go and wire these up was pretty simple. I didn't want to be running heaps of cables throughout the car and just having it all messy and stuff, so uh, I went and got seven core. Um, so that ran from the switches up to the roof rack and then within the roof rack I ran, I had a five core so I, was, I wanted a three core but they didn't have three core at the time so I just bought a five core. This was just to extend the cable from the lights to go to the back where this seven core came into the roof rack and then I also from my back battery I just ran a twin but positive and negative to the front there for the switches so then I could have power obviously for the lights and power it off my back battery. Um, so basically I ran three cables so it was really really simple. Um, I'll go and show you where I ran them and yeah how easy it was. So I've got the switches there and um, what I actually did to get the power for the lights so when I, when you put the lights on um, I picked that up from the cigarette lighter here uh, I just found the cable which which was powered up when the lights were on and then I just ran that under the dash here and hooked it up to there um, from there the seven core goes behind let's see if I can show you it's gonna be a bit hard a bit dark so it goes behind the dash um, so I opened all the dash through here um, ran it down and just come down into the into the well here pulled all this off just runs under there through through this side as well 
and then I've come in into here and I've actually run it through the side th behind the panel. I didn't, e I didn't actually need to pull the panel off uh, to get to it. And then, so yeah, I've ran it through that panel, up through, up through here, and then I've come out the top there. You might be able to see. I've just made a little cut through there and then it goes up through there into the roof rack. So that's the seven core and the seven core sits up just in here. And then all the other cables run to there and I've done, I've done the connection up there for everything. Uh, for the power, for the twin core, uh, I've come from behind the seat. This is where all my 12 volt stuff is. Um, that's in another video as well. So I ran that from there. Sorry, let me just swap this around. So I ran that from, from there and I've run it in the same way. So just down in that wheel, uh, in that well and just run it through to the, sw to the switches over there. Uh, so that all ran together. So it was nice and neat. So the reason I needed three core at least for the roof was because I've got the white and the amber, so that you need two switching wires. Um, and then you've got the, the earth, obviously. Um, so I needed at least a three core. Um, so that's why I ended up with a five core, just because they didn't have the three. Um, and then they all connect into the seven core. So um, I didn't quite need a seven core yet because I've only got lights on the two sides. So I've got, I've got a main earth running up there in the seven core. And then I've got white and amber um, for the left side, white and amber for the right side. And I've allowed for lights to go on the back. So um, that will take up all seven wires. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on the back yet, only because the, where the roof rack sits, um, it sits a fair way back and then when I'm going to use them is mainly while I'm camping and I've the setup I've got is with the fridge obviously in the back and then um, a cooktop and stuff in there so I'm going to have the boot open most of the time so it's I, I guess it's going to kind of be a waste if I have them up there because they're not really going to get be used um, but I'm not sure yet I've got enough lights to go and do it but I'm probably going to put some lights in the bottom, in the tailgate. So when the tailgate goes up, the lights are going to shine down. Um, let us know what you guys have done. If you, what lights you've got in the tailgate, um, and if they work really well when you're camping, because I'm I'm look to, looking to go and do that next. Uh, so yeah, chuck that down in the comments. Uh, that will be really helpful. So here you can see how far back the roof rack sits. So the angle, the angle for the lights is, you know, it's not really going to work that well. Um, I could make a bracket or something to extend it out, uh, but I'll show you when the tailgate's open. So that's with the tailgate open. So yeah, you can see that the lights are going to be obviously pretty useless when I've got that open. Um, so I'm thinking to have just something in the bottom there that, that shines down and gives me light here. So I've got the ARB base rack. And so what I did to go and get the cables through to the back, uh, I've just drilled a little hole in the side here. There's a little hollow in here. Well, there's a couple different hollow sections. So I've, I've drilled the cable into there. I extended it first. So I've extended it through to the back light. So then these, these two are connected on the one switch. Um, so that was really, really simple. The new, the, the ARB base racks make it very, very easy to go and wire your lights and have it look nice and tidy. To get access to the, the roof rack, you just have this plate on normally and it's just got two screws and you literally just unscrew those two screws. This comes off. Um, there's a bottom plate, which I've got there. That just comes off. And then you've got access to these little hollows in here. I don't know, not sure if you can see them because the light's a bit, it's a bit dark in there. Um, but yeah, you can get the cables through. You can see I've got, 
those two cables there. Um, that extends from that front one over there, comes through here. I think I've gone straight through with that one. Um, oh no, I've done a connection there for these two, two lights together and then they extend over to this one um, and that's where I've done the main connection from uh, to the seven core. So what I've done for the mounting is just drilled through the mounting bracket for the roof rack, uh, just one hole and just mounted it through there, just a bolt through there. It's just a single bolt and then there's two bolts on the side that sort of tighten it for the angle so you can go and change the angle of the light uh, but yeah super simple to install that was the easiest way um, I thought to go and do it. One thing that I haven't done that I want to still do is put a plug on here put like a, a waterproof plug um, so then if I want to take the roof rack off can literally just unplug it here and then the roof rack can come off. I don't have to worry about sort of disconnecting the lights or anything like that. Uh, so that's something I'm going to do in the future still. Okay guys, this is what comes in the box for these lights. Um, so yeah, it comes in a little box like that. And then you obviously, you get the light. Just comes in that little bubble wrap. Um, yeah, so that's a three core wire because you've got the the white, the amber and then an earth or common. Uh, it comes with the bag, it's got an allen key in there to tighten up the the side bolts that um, hold it for the for the angle um, and a bolt for mounting this bracket so this is the proper the mounting bracket and then that sits onto there uh, and yeah obviously for your angle adjustment. The build quality of these lights is is pretty good especially for the the price that you pay for them. Um, as I said these are about I think 10 bucks. Um, it's just an alloy it's got these fins I guess for trying to dissipate the heat um, but yeah overall it's 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 pretty good. I think they're IP 68 or something. Uh, I'll double check that and I'll chuck it up on screen. Um, the thing I didn't like about these was just the bolts for the angle adjustment. To mount this bracket onto here it comes with these little square um, nuts and you drop them into, there's a little slot here, you drop them into that and then this bolt sort of screws in from the side to hold it in and I don't know I just found that that wasn't sort of great the, the nuts are right. the nuts okay but one of them I tried to tighten it a little bit and it sort of over tightened really easy um, and yeah I wasn't sure how strong they were going to be uh, but as I said I've I've been on some pretty corrugated roads for a, for a long period of time and they've they've held up well um, they haven't come loose I was going to put um, some Loctite on them I haven't done that yet but yeah as I said they're still still holding up well so you know they're doing their job so I can't really complain and as I said ten dollars you know you're kind of getting what you paid for the mounting the bolt for the the back, um, that I was, I was going to go and get a nylock just to make sure that it stays on there but again that's, they have stayed on there as well um, but I'll probably still put one on just to be safe but that comes with that. Um, yeah so they're simple to fit and they do what they're, do what they're meant to do. I'm sure there's a lot of six inch lights out there that are a lot more expensive than what you pay for these. Um, but I liked these because they had the dual color in them. Um, I'm not sure what ones are out at the moment from like the big brands that have the dual color like this that you can just switch from in the in cab. 
Um, but that's why I went with these. They had, that's what I, all I could find at the time um, and just went with these. They're really light as well. Um, so not sure if that's a good thing or bad thing, but yeah, if you're worried about weight, these are good. So for those of you that are wanting to know how much power these actually use when you when you got them on, um, I'll show you on my app. I've got the Victron app open, so I've got a smart shunt on my batteries in the back. And so I can see, once I turn that on, I can see what it's gonna be drawing. So we'll turn just the white light on. So that's drawing like one and a half amps. So that's for the two lights on the back. Uh, if we put the, I'll try the amber. That's about the same, 1.6 amps. And if you have the amber and the white on at the same time, it doesn't change at all. So if we have both sides on, it's drawing about three amps. So, I mean, I, can, I could leave that run all night it wouldn't be a drama so um, I'm not worried about that draining my batteries at all um, I haven't actually got any footage of me using the lights yet um, I have used them while I've been away I just didn't film it at night uh, they work really really well um, they're plenty bright enough for what I need um, and the amber lights really good once you've kind of done your main things you're set up and you're cooking you can go and chuck it on amber um, and just it's it's a good light for just sitting around uh, the amber lights also got a better spread uh, I think the the white lights have got I think a couple of the LEDs a, a spot and then it's got some spread in there as well um, but yeah, both lights are really good. Heaps of lights from when you're camping. It, I mean, it's not gonna light up the whole field, uh, but it works, it works really well. So I'm stoked with it. Okay guys, that is it for the roof rack lights. Um, if you've got any questions for something that I haven't covered, just drop it down in the comments below. Uh, I will get back to you um, the best I can. And for the next video, I'm gonna be covering my 12 volt system. So. I've got two separate systems in this uh, with a combined amperage of 350 amps of lithium. Is that too much? Is that not enough? Watch for the next video.